So it's been an interesting day today. It started off with a little bit of rain and then we had a big dump of snow, as you can see, and now it's raining again. So all we could do with is a little bit of sunshine <laughs> and we've had all seasons in one day. Well, all the snow's gone. We had some very bad snow yesterday, but the rain has washed it all away, which is good. And as you see in the back of the car, I'm all packed. I am on my way to Whitby this weekend for the Whitby Steampunk weekend. So the beginning of an, of an adventure. I think, I don't know if you can see Mike. Mike is stood at the front door saying goodbye. What was that, riddance? Good riddance? <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, so I will film this weekend and you can see all my friends, all the outfits and everybody that I think you've uh, grown to know through going to the shows. So off we go. See you later. See you later. <laughs> At least all the snow's gone. I didn't film on the way here because it was incredibly foggy. All you'd have seen would have been a haze and you'd think you all had cataracts. So I didn't film that bit, but I've arrived at the, the venue. My stand is just behind us. It's very empty at the moment. And when it's full, I shall show you it all. We're all setting up today. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit frantic in here, but bear with me. I'll show you what it's in real soon. Somebody's taking the lead today. <laughs> and this one's just staying right by my side. At least all the snow's gone. Come on, Poppet. Come on, there's a good lad. Well, it's the Friday night just before the steampunk event takes place on Saturday. And tonight is the big quiz night run by the lovely Robert. Hello. And Helen's shouting, she's trying to get some food. And the money raised tonight goes towards the RNLI Whitby lifeboat. I'll just turn the camera around, you can see the magnificent, magnificent trophies that the winning team are going to get. It's very posh in here, look at that. And it's Whitby. And these are the trophies. It says on them, if we can get in close enough. Webby Steamboat Weekend 2024 Quiz Team Champions. So there you go. So we're going to have a good night. Robert is our quiz master. I am indeed. Hello. He is very, very, very good at quizzes, That's ladies and gentlemen. Very, very, very hard man. And Helen is over here at the bar getting food and sorting drinks out. Good old Helen. Well, good morning everyone. It's all happening here this morning. Um, we're open, we've been open for about an hour or so and it's been a little bit mad. It's been a lot mad. You like my fez? Fezzies are cool. I'll have a wander around and I'll show you everybody. We've got Karen, Elise, all the usual suspects are here. So bear with me, I'll just spin round. Yeah, our first port of call is Karen. Karen has got a uh, new stock out today. Uh, superb candles. We have a rather noisy bundle. Karen's suffering. Karen has got very, very, very bad cold. She's not. A, she's a poorly girl today. Poorly, poorly. Just got smudging sets. Show that one. Which one's that one? That one. That one. The very front. No, the one. Oh, the big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Smudged. A smudging prayer. Smudged in. Nice. They're fantastic, aren't they? And they're beautiful, those. And of course, we've got the tiaras out. 
Are we witchy boots? Are we witchy boots? Look at that. Look at that for a mug. <laughs> That's a hell of a mug, Karen. <laughs> Then we'll come to our lovely, lovely, lovely Elise. Oh, sorry. Hello, darling. This is Elise. I think you've met Elise before, but Elise does the most beautiful mixed media. Look at these. Look at that. The subject matter is lovely. This is one of the best mixed media people I've seen on the circuit. Look. I love this one. I love all the bits and bats there. It's one of my favourites. And Alan, the lovely Alan, her glamour, Elisa's glamorous assistant, is, 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 look at that. Is, manage, is managing my stand. I have had a lot of sales nursing this morning, I'm afraid, so it is a little bit, a little bit worse for wear. But well, we've got the new devices. There's all the stars of the zodiac, signs of the zodiac around the outside. Of course, all the new pins are out today. So we have all the silver, the gold ones, the brass. And we have all the steel ones. These will be going on the website this week. So have a look at those if you would. I've got the old new pins that I've had before. And I've also got all my wearable, all my makeable bits. So yes, it's been very, very busy this morning. We'll go and say hello to Helen in a minute. And we are with Helen today here. All the inserts out for uh, Robert. Oh, Robert. Hey, uh, Robert. Robert's working today. And he's got all the beautiful, beautiful necklaces. And the earrings. The hair slides are nice. Look at those. Beautiful. All of these. Beautiful, beautiful. And the other brooch you should use as well. Is these are lovely as well. <laughs> Helen's full of it today. Helen nearly fell down the stairs, didn't you, Helen? Yep. Helen, say hello. She nearly killed me. Hello. hello. She nearly killed me. She nearly killed you. Somebody turned the lights out while she was walking and sorry. We're sorry in the boiling hot cup of tea with no lid on. Yeah, she nearly burnt herself, bless her. So yeah, we're all here. We're having a lovely time. Well, pull that blind down a bit, seeing as the sun is blasting through the window. Um, so it's Saturday afternoon and I've finished doing my uh, mission inspiration project and I've put it into my journal. So that's the project for this week. Um, the, the prompt was fractured, although I kept thinking it was fragmented, but never mind. Um, and I've got the heart there because, you know, it's Valentine's Day next week. Um, so I thought um, I would have a heart somewhere in there. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're already now on to week six. Can you believe it? Week six. Um, it's just gone so quickly already. Um, I've been looking at um, replacing my jelly plate. Um, last week, I obviously went through um, the issues that I was having with it or I was having with the gel plate. Um, so and I still don't know whether or not it's me or whether it's the paint or whether it's the plate itself. So I can't change me, but I can change the plate and I can change the paints that I'm using. So by process of elimination, I've been looking at purchasing a new one. Uh, I'm not going to buy a jelly plate this time. I'm going to look at other brands. Um, I found one which is an A4 size, which is different to the 8x10. Um, it's deeper, taller, if you like, or depending which way. If you're having it portrait that way, <laughs> it's deeper, top to bottom, um, than 
the one that I had before, which was an eight by 10. So this one is going to be um, about an eight and a bit by almost 12. So we'll fit a standard Euro size A4 piece of paper spot on. Um, and they're not as expensive as the gel plates, um, this brand that I found. So I think I'm going to order myself one um, from the Amazon and hopefully it will be here um, in the next day or two. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing with that when it arrives. Well, it's nearly home time on the Sunday. I have been decimated, which is lovely. The badges have gone really well. Pin badges always go well, and all the makers' bits and bats have gone, in, gone very, very well indeed. So, yeah, from a table that was full, two full tables on Saturday morning, to a table that's very, very empty now, I'm very happy. So we'll be packing up in a little while, ready to go home. You may have seen Alicia's stuff yesterday, and I showed you Alan's stuff, but we have Alan in his alter ego of Maximilian Xavier de Winter, Vampire Hunter. Look at that. Look at this. All made by Alan. He's an incredible craftsman. I would like to be on the receiving end of that, Alan, I tell you. That is really, really good. So it's Sunday afternoon. I've just had some lunch. Me and the boys have just had some lunch. Um, and I thought before I sit myself down in front of the TV and vegetate for the rest of the afternoon, um, that I would come up and just process a few website orders. Uh, make myself useful so that I don't feel as I've wasted the day. Um, I've already got, I've already done two lots of washing this morning, two lots of laundry, so <laughs> there is that. Um, I heard from Ian last night, so he's, well, he did very well um, yesterday, Saturday, um, which is good news. So hopefully um, he'll have a few more bits and pieces to sell today, um, but it doesn't really have to do as much because he's almost think he's almost hit his target for the weekend so really really happy about that so it was kind of a bit hyper last night which is which is nice to see um so yeah so i'm gonna do these website orders now get those out of the way I'll probably have a play with the boys because they're currently just lounging on the bed uh, in basking in what little sunshine there is today um get these website processed and um, ready for posting on monday and then i can sit down and not feel guilty about putting my feet up and watching the TV. And um, that's the plan for the rest of today anyway. Or at least until Ian gets home. <laughs> so I'm back from my weekend in Whitby. I've had a very good weekend. Um, I've just had pizza for my tea, so I'm well happy. The boys are happy to see me. Mike's quite happy to see me, I think. Yes. Yes, there you go. Uh, so yeah, a great weekend. So um, yeah. First outing of the year done under my belt. Um, roll on the next one. It might be in a couple of months' time. So, uh, hey, gives me time to get ready. So, uh, I will say goodbye from the weekend. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. It's Monday morning, 10.30. I've just popped into the supermarket to grab some groceries for mum and dad. I started to ring them or started calling them from about quarter past nine this morning and um, there was no answer so they obviously got up late anyway I finally managed to get through it just gone 9 30 so they've just given me a few shopping items to grab of course I needed to do a little bit of shopping as well with Ian being away this weekend and me not having the car so I just needed a few top-up items um, so I'm just going to drop these off at mum and dad's now stay for a, a nice cuppa and then I'll set off back but I have to pop in at the post office to drop off some website orders for the weekend Oh, that came in back end of last week, Thursday, Friday-ish, and get those out of the way. And then hopefully I'll be back home again for, for lunchtime. Well, that's the plan anyway, but you know what they say about 
the best laid plans. <laughs> It's Monday afternoon. Ian's just taken Bentley and Mr Nip out for their WALK. Uh, just had a, a phone call from our friends at Indigo Blue. Um, they're short-handed this week and they've asked whether or not I will go um, to work with Ian tomorrow to, to man the laser cutters and to give them a hand at just processing orders and that kind of stuff while they're short-handed. Um, one of their members of staff has, um, has had to go for a, an operation on on their leg, I think. Um, so, yeah, so they're desperate for help. So I've agreed. So, um, yeah, so tomorrow it's going to be an early start. So we're going to be up at um, the Sparrows Fat, I think, crack of dawn, um, to get to Retford, which is about an hour away for about 8 a.m. Um, because Ian likes to get there early to get all set up and get all the the um, stamp making machines all turned on because they have to heat up before you can start using them because you know to, to melt and vulcanize rubber they have to be at a very high temperature so he likes to get there a bit early just to get started um so yeah so that's gonna be an interesting day tomorrow trying to get keep the dogs <laughs> under control because we have to take both Bentley and Nipper with us tomorrow so Nip's not going to be very happy because he does not like going in the car but We'll see. I'm sure he'll manage. <laughs> he'll probably sulk all day knowing him. Wednesday morning, just gone 9.30, not a bad day today, it's a little bit overcast but it's not raining as yet, it's warm enough, the temperature's increased to 12 degrees centigrade which is about 54 degrees Fahrenheit, so not too bad at all, almost like a spring morning. Um, I'm on my way to pick up mum to do grocery shopping today um, I'm a little bit late <laughs> this morning um, because yesterday um, I was asked to give um, our friends at Indigo Blue a hand in their workshop um, I went down with Ian yesterday and um, we both spent all day there um, just helping out in the workshop um, I was doing a variety of tasks Yesterday, I was cutting up fabric panels, manning the laser cutters, doing stencils and MDF laser cuts, um, website orders for them, just helping out basically. They're a, a member of staff down, so we said we'd help out while they were busy. So we didn't get back home until about six o'clock last night and um, we left at just about seven o'clock in the morning so it was an almost a 12 hour 12 hour day yesterday um, but it was enjoyable it was different it made a change so yes so today like I said taking mum shopping I'm hoping to get over to one of my favorite little shopping places Fox Valley the Valley of the Foxes um, because I need to stock up on um, dog treats and dog food and there's a, a place there which is inexpensive so hopefully the weather will hold out and we'll have a little trip out 
that's if mum's well enough this morning. So it's Wednesday afternoon, about oh, just about approaching quarter to three in the afternoon. Um, so got back from doing shopping with mum. Yes, she was well enough to go shopping, which was nice. By the time I got there uh, this morning, she was already sat with her coat on waiting to go. So that was good news. So I was able to have a good shopping trip. I stocked up on dog food and dog treats um, and spent a little bit of time with mum just wandering around. Um, yeah, a bit of quality time. So that was lovely. Um, while I was in the supermarket, I got a text message from... At my opticians to say that my glasses were ready so as soon as i got back from mum's dropped all the um groceries off here i jumped in the car and went to pick up my new spectacles there we go <laughs> so as you can see lighter frames kind of disappear into my face a little bit um as the optician said suits my color in what do you think? The uh, the lenses are, the, the long distance lenses are exactly the same as the old ones. Um, it's just the reading lens. So these are slightly different where the actual transition between the reading section of the glasses and the long distance is actually a little bit higher because I use computers a lot um, and my computer is, you know, pretty much level with the t halfway across the screen here. So if it was just at the bottom, I wouldn't be able to see the top part of the screen when I using the keyboard and looking up because I'd be looking through the top part of the lens rather than the bottom part of the lens. So it's a little bit higher. Um, that's going to take some getting used to or a few days to get used to because when I'm going down the stairs, I'll be looking through the bottom part at my feet <laughs> and that's the reading part. So it's a bit of a trade off. So I've got to get used to the fact that Short term, like going down the stairs, <laughs> try not to look through the bottom part of the glasses. And then when I'm using my computer, I may have to adjust my screen so that more of it is tilted up. So it's easier for me to read the top part of it. The optician did say that it would take two to three days for me to get used to it. But as long as I put my glasses on first thing in the morning, as soon as I get up, put the new glasses on, my eyes will adjust straight away to the new lenses. So not to put the old ones back on again first thing and then swap over again halfway through the day. Not a good idea. Should start the day with the new lenses. That way, <clears throat> that transition period um, is shortened because you get used to them quicker. Anyway, so it's Wednesday, um, the 14th of February. It's Valentine's Day. So happy St. Valentine's Day to everybody. So much love to everyone. Um, Ian and I exchanged gifts this morning. Um, I bought um, Ian a DVD box set of his favourite films from the 1950s and early 1960s from the Ealing Comedy or the Ealing Studios here in the UK. Um, so it includes, the box set includes classics like the Lady Killers, the original version. Um, not the one with Tom Hanks, but the original version. Um, so Lady Killers, Passport to Pimlico, Whiskey Galore, um, Kind Hearts and Coronets and The Man in the White Suit. So some classic movies there. Um, he had them once, but they've disappeared. So he must have lent them to somebody and never got them back. Um, so we've replaced those now. So he's very, very happy. And Ian bought me a bottle of my favourite rum. So I'm happy too, very, very happy. Um, and then this evening I'm cooking uh, one of Ian's favourite meals. So uh, that'll be nice. So looking forward to that and then just spending a cosy night and probably watching the Ealing Comedy tonight. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping that you're all having a, a lovely Valentine's Day. If you're um, doing anything special, I hope it's fantastic. If you're having a quiet one, then again, hope it's nice too. So that's all from me for now. Um, I shall be back again in the next few days. Um, there's Mission Inspiration coming up on um, Saturday. So I need to get that prepped and all done and ready. So it's going to be a busy few days. So that's all for me for now. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.
I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.